This is a demonstration of using directory report to manage your disk drives and to manage the space used by your users. We'll show two things today. To turn on the report per user, you have to click on Compute Largest Owner. Then we're going to scan our disks. You click the binoculars button and here you can pick as many disks as you want and as many directories as you want. Directory reports saves your last 16 scanned paths and you can add as many as you want and to help you out because you'll most likely be using the same drives over and over again. You double click and see it added it. Double click my E drive We've added it. You can type in a path, browse, and when you type it here, you say add new directory. Directory report comes with a free 10-day trial program, but the trial program is fully functional. There are no limitations. Now, when I click OK, the scan will start, but being that I chose to find out who my largest users are, that will take some time, and for huge network drives that might take overnight so I already have that finished and I'll show you here's my C drive the default initial sorting is by size with subdirectories descending Microsoft Explorer does not show you the size you have to right click and say show me the properties so program files is 24 gig and this will help you discover where all your space is going just by double clicking just like Microsoft Explorer so Arial Games is 1.8 gig and here I noticed that my son installed the Shy game 1.8 gig just like the Windows Explorer if I double click on program files Maxis 5.1 gig and here you can see all my games. The Sims, 3.8 gig. So if I open common files, here's my semantic, 1 gigabyte. And if you want, you can change how the size is displayed, like you can display in megabytes. 1,000 gig for semantic. You can quickly drill down to any problem directory that you might suspect on your system. Just like here is my E drive. If I double click program files, MSDN is 3.5 gig. And here it shows you the owner because I have this button set. Now if I want to find out who are my largest users, display largest owner. It shows me all the users on your system, their total files, and the total space that they use. So, myself, Alan, I have used 31 gigabytes. Administrators, 29 gigabytes. Jared, 3.6 gig. You can always change how the size has changed. See? And there's more. You can display every file on your system. And what it will do is it will show every file and show them in the size order. And it will show you the file's owner. We'll get there. Here are the owners. Now we can sort by the file owner and we can find out where all of Alan's files are, all the administrator's files are, and so on. Just click on the column header, just the window column to how the output is sorted.
and you can see directory report. There we go. Here are all the administrator files. Here are all of Alan's files. Here are all of Jared's files. This file. System files. This can be very powerful. Display your largest directory. So it always shows created, access, modified date, the date and the time, the owner, total files with subdirectories. Be a very powerful tool. Now, directory report will print every screen that you see to a printer or save it to a file. But there are many attributes that are saved, and you only want to print some of them. You can pick which attributes you want printed. ABI. These are all the attributes. This is when print to an HTML file. The full path to the file is saved as a hyperlink. So here we'll turn all the attributes off and say I only want size, owner, creation date. Okay. And I want to save it to a file. You can save the output to a text file. Save the text directly to the clipboard, save it to a CSV file, which can be read by Excel. What this does, it saves the output to a temporary CSV file, then immediately loads that file into Excel, save it to an HTML file, or save it to an XML file. There we go. If you have any questions, email me at webmaster at fileutilities.com or go to the website www.file-utilities.com to learn all the other capabilities of the program. That ends this demonstration.